Hello everyone, my name is Khalil al -Sarek, and today what I'm going to be explaining to you is the nerve supply of the upper limb muscles and at the same time what I'm going to be explaining is the functions and movements of the upper limb muscles. I'm going to be dividing this video into different divisions so that it will be much easier for you. Now the first muscle what I'm going to start with is the pectoralis major. Pectoralis major is the chest muscle. So it's supplied by the median and lateral pectoral nerve and at the same time we have uh, adduction and medial rotation. What is adduction again? When you adduct your hand, you could realize that when you over -abduct abduct it, you can realize that your pectoralis major is contracting. And at the same time when you medially rotate your hand, you have an, a contraction of, uh, of the pectoralis major muscle. We have the second muscle which is called pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor is supplied by the median pectoral nerve while pectoralis major as I said is supplied by the lateral and medial pectoral nerve and at the same time its, um, uh, its main function is that it holds the scapula against the thoracic wall so it just holds the scapula against the thoracic wall now we have the second muscle which is called serratus anterior I believe I haven't spoke about it. It's called also the boxer's muscle. Mainly boxers have this muscle. It's a big muscle actually. And basically it's places in here. So um, uh, it starts at the anterior uh, lateral aspect of the first rib. And it ends at the eighth rib. So it starts from rib one to rib eight. And at the same time, it attaches to the medial border of the scapula. So what is the medial border of the scapula again? The scapula is in here, so it comes from here and attaches backwards from the inside. Okay, so this is the scapula. So let's say anteriorly, in front of this, we have the attachment in the medial border of the scapula, which attaches the serratus anterior muscle. Now we have also it supplied by the long thoracic nerve and at the same time it protracts the scapula and holds it against the thoracic wall so when I do this this movement I'm contracting my serratus anterior because it's, it pro, it's protracting my scapula to the thoracic wall now the next muscle is trapezius trapezius it starts at the base of the skull so basically let me show you Mr. Skull and turn him around no dirty thing though but anyways so we have, this is the base of the skull, it starts from the base of the skull to C7, okay? C7 uh, to T12 vertebrae. So we have C7, uh, C7 the cervical 7th vertebrae to the thoracic 12th uh, vertebrae. Now we have, um, it attaches to the lateral one-third of the clavicle. So this is the clavicle. So this is laterally outside, away from the midline. So this is the lateral one third. So it attaches to this part of the clavicle, and at the same time, um, it attaches to the acromion process, and it attaches to the spine of the scapula. So, as I said, you could watch my previous video, which is about the which is about the osteology of the upper limb. I'll show you where the acromion process is. This is the acromion process, and it attaches to the spine of the scapula. Spine. This is the spine of the scapula. So this is about the where it attaches and it's uh, supplied by the spinal accessory nerve. Let me get him back a little bit. And um, it has three functions. The lower part of the trapezius it elevates the scapula. So this is basically the trapezius it elevates the scapula. When I do this movement, I elevate the scapula. And uh, the second movement, the upper part, um, it depresses the scapula. So when I do this, this movement, my uh, trapezius is depressing the scapula. So the lower part elevates it, the upper part depresses it. And when they all work together, they retract the scapula. So when I do this movement, I'm retracting my scapula. So this movement is called retraction, and um, it's done by the trapezius muscle. Now we have the next muscle, which is latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi, it starts in the inferior sixth thoracic vertebrae, and um, it's, also in the, it's also beside the thoracolumbar fascia. 
and at the same time it attaches to the intertubercle groove as I said the latissimus dorsi is basically a back muscle it comes from the back and attaches to the lip of the intertubercle groove so it attaches basically somewhere here and uh, about latissimus dorsi uh, it's supplied by thoraco thoracodorsal nerve and at the same time it extends how do we extend? we extend uh, it extends and at the same time it medially rotates the, the humerus so basically when I do this movement I'm contracting my latissimus dorsi and when I medially rotate it I'm, uh, I also contract my latissimus dorsi muscle and it helps in raising the body while climbing a mountain so let's say someone is climbing a mountain and he wants to raise his body towards to upwards so this movement is done by the latissimus dorsi muscle now we have the last muscle that I'm going to be speaking about in this video which is levator scapulae um, it starts from C1 to C4 and at the same time levator scapulae from its name levator it means elevate elevation and scapulae means the scapula so it elevates the scapula and it's supplied by uh, dorsal scapular nerve and attaches to the medial border of the scapula so uh, that will be about it for the levator scapulae I hope I made it easy for you thanks a lot and I hope you've enjoyed it